Boo. I am not okay with this. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna strap you into this. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Hey, I'm Melissa. And I'm Matoki, and this is Expert Amateur Fraud, a show where we try to figure out who the expert is and who's the fraud. Today, we're gonna be interviewing three <gasps> drag queens. Drag queens. Wow. Okay, okay. This is, okay, this is gonna be interesting. I'm so ready. Do you think you're gonna be able to tell? Ooh. <laughs> I've never even been to a drag show. And I've been really? wanting to. Okay. So this is perfect for me. I have some, friends that do drag. Okay. And like literally when I see them, I'm blown away. Yeah. They look like different people. Hey, I have a question for you guys. Yeah. Would you be willing to get in drag today? Oh, I'm oh, so Oh, absolutely. Down. Mostly just face? Or are we like, am I tucking? Am I tucking? <laughs> Yay! Oh, Woo! Hello. What's your name? Chumai. I'm Miss Chumai. Today, I'm gonna try and get one of you into quick drag in under 15 minutes. Ooh! Yeah, and then you, we're gonna do a little runway walk together. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah, I'll be first. Okay, cool! Yay! Yay. Right, so this is a wig cap. We're gonna just pull all your hair back. I got a big old head. You look incredible. So beautiful, and we're done! Oh. <laughs> Can I get you to throw these on? I'm jealous. I'm gonna throw a <laughs> bold lip on you, and then we're gonna make it glitter. No, what did you say your, um, your name is again? Sh Miss Chumai. Shumai, if you are unfamiliar, is a hot, steamy, pork. juicy pork dumpling. It's perfect. Yes. Well, I love it. Okay, okay. You're brushing the wig. I'm brushing out a, a nice little bang wig. Oh, bangs. Bangs. Do you think I could pull off bangs? You would look really in bangs, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say? You would look really in bangs. Is that, that, oh my, that's is a, that a good thing? thing? That's a good thing. I love good that. Thing. So I would look <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? I feel like I would do anything you told me to do. Oh yeah? yeah. Get some bangs. <laughs> Why is Matoki more gorgeous than I am? We love this, we love this. As a queer Asian American, you know, a lot of the times I never really felt myself seen in a lot of media, especially growing up as a kid. Absolutely. Like my role models were always like cartoon characters, but it was always the female ones I was always drawn to. Mm -hmm. And so I always wanted to be able to celebrate my feminine femininity in a certain way, but obviously that wasn't allowed to me if, growing up. Right. Um, once I discovered drag, you know, this is basically me not only being able to like heal that inner child yeah. from the past, but also be able to like be the superstar that I needed to see and be growing up. What is a persona that you've always wanted to take on that would make you feel effortlessly powerful? Oh gosh, that's a hard question. Um, that's a good question. Something take it on. Mm -hmm. Debuting for the oh, very no. first time, welcome to the oh. stage. Purple Ranger! Yeah! yeah. Wow! Oh, wow. My Megazord is quaking. I think that anyone can do drag because drag is an art form that isn't tied to gender, it's not tied to ethnicity, it's not tied to age. Drag is an art form where you can take wigs or makeup or theatrics or performance and be able to uncover who you really are. Says. Hi, You're I'm Jordan. Nice to hello. meet you. Jordan, nice. hello, hello, Alyssa. Hello, and you are Purple, Purple Ranger. Purple Ranger. Yes. It's new. Oh and I'm working God. on it still, so. <laughs> it's like if Zoe De Chanel and Joe Dirt. Like, <laughs> Joe Dirt! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. I'll take it. Today, I'm going to get you some hair. Okay. And we're gonna learn about some contouring, the way you reshape the face to trick people into thinking you're a woman. I think we're gonna put you in a wig cap. I was feeling pretty left out. Yeah, <laughs> join the wig game. Yeah, Thank I can. You. I'm gonna wrap this up like this. Okay. I actually do wear wigs a lot. Oh, perfect. I so. don't. You don't? Yeah. Is this okay? You know what? <laughs> oh, I'm in blue. Yeah, well, I'm wearing blue, and so, so will you. I, so. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing but time for this. I am not okay with this. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna strap you into this. <laughs> hold on. This Maybe some bangs will help, Can right? I, you want me to hold it up for you? How's that? Is that better? Oh, that is actually. It's not. 
Please just do some makeup. Uh, yeah, we're gonna fix it. Basically what you do is you take dark and light shades of makeup mm -hmm. to trick the light around you to make your face look like it's a different shape. So I start all the way up at like the sideburn area. Sideburns, okay. And then I just take it down like that, like straight down. And then from here I do the jaw and I kind of start around just, just below where I was before and I just oh. do like that sort of thing. That to make my nose look like it's a little turned up. Oh yeah, I like that. I don't think you needed nearly as much as I put on. Okay. Um, <laughs> You look great, though. Really? Because no. everybody's kind of scarily looking at me. It? No, it's, <laughs> it's going to be fine. I'm scared. I can okay. fix it. Okay. It's moments like this that I appreciate how good I look. <laughs> how good you look? OK. <laughs> so basically, you'll take okay. this powder. This is a right. great, this is actually a really fierce powder. I use this one myself, actually. To put it under your cheekbones. Are you ready for the reveal? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh bad. my god! <laughs> I do kind of feel iconic. We're gonna try this other wig because it's a little nicer, and I uh, I thought it was really funny to put you in the blue one. Do I look like Elsa? <laughs> I can't tell if you look younger or older. Do I still look scary? No, I'm into the gray hair. <laughs> you look great. Okay. Do you think anybody can do drag? Absolutely, anybody can do drag. I mean, <laughs> I'm doing it, so if I can do it, anybody can do it. We're having some sort of a uh, drag queen boot camp. Pretty we much. Are. Good thing I'm here. My name is Evian Voss, like the water. So Wait, did you ever see the parent trap? Yeah, of course. You Evian. kind of are giving me Evian. Oh. Who the hell is Evian? She's the one that drank Evian water, the stepmom. Oh, the stepmom. that was quite a journey there. <laughs> so good, I'm glad. You're kind of there. scary in a good way. Oh, good. Yeah, so what I'm going to do today is we're going to put some liner on. We're just going to add to the situation. Okay. Sure. So I've got some eyeliner here. Whoa. Oh boy. What is your eyeliner experience? Just, Just a little putting bit. it on. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're in drag, you're basically painting for the back of the room. You oh. want to have the person in the very back, maybe even the lobby, see you. I'm gonna need you to stand up because I'm just really tall. Yeah, yeah. we're the same. I feel like I'm in trouble with the principal. <laughs> the way that I like to do it is make, make it look like your eyes are being lifted. You don't want anything droopy. Mm. So follow the line of your lower lid. Let's do it from the bottom line and head upward. So wow. that way it gives you a lift to your face. That's, I never knew that. That's yeah. like a really, I'm like genuinely, this isn't just for the camera. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> well, there you. you go, you're welcome. We'll okay. take these tips home with you. Okay. Well, I need uh -oh. you to also feel like a oh. drag queen as well. Yeah. Okay. There is one more uh, trick that I want to do for mm -hmm. you. You really want to be a drag Drag queen, you oh. really have to get into a drag queen's uh -oh. shoes. I'm with it. You know, take a walk in their shoes. This is not the glamorous part of drag. Please do not take a video of my feet. Thank you very much. Not for free, at Wait, least. You're Are you kidding? Letting... Yeah. Thank you for. I'm not worthy of this. Once you get the heels and the lashes on, girl, you're a woman. I don't want to ruin these. Wow. Whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. do you, where do you put your balance? You're going to need to find your center of balance by maybe putting a little weight in your hip. Okay. Chest, chest out. Sorry, what? Right? <laughs> I know heels, chest out. That's how I get the boys. Yeah, when you're walking, make sure you put one foot in front of the other. There you go, like you're on a tightrope. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, like you're gliding. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You kind of look like you're on the prowl, though. It's a little it's questionable. It's a little too sexy. It's like it's a, every Yeah, like... yeah, sexy is the word I was gonna use, too. GTA okay. 5 stick hooker. Your butt out. Oh. Very Grand Theft Auto 5. What the hell? You actually been doing this a while? No, literally not. Wait a minute! <laughs> okay. Turkey, you're killing it. Thank you, thank you. All right, thank give you. me my shoes back, no, please. No, they're mine now. Oh, honestly. he's a woman now. <laughs> you know homecoming, whenever you have to dress up for the week and it's like, today is formal day. Today is like black and white day. Today is... They didn't call it cross-dressing day, but they just said like swap day or whatever. And so the boys would dress as girls and the girls would dress as boys. That was kind of my awakening for drag. Or the first time I experienced drag and being more feminine and playing with gender roles, really. I, for one, feel incredible. Yeah. And you look incredible. Thank you. And I know you're just saying that to, so that I don't like cry. <laughs> How do you feel though? I feel like, you know, you had a big transformation yeah. today. I had some uh, awakening for sure. The second those boots came on, I actually blacked out. I, I, even, felt that. I don't even remember anything, I to be honest that. with you. Um, okay, so know. we got three, 
three folks here. Evian was like making me like tremble. Yeah, it was- Which made me think like, she's the expert. Slightly erotic, you know? Yeah, um, I was like, she knew exactly what she was doing. Yeah. She gave me a tip about eyeliner that not even the, the most feminine woman I know would be able to sure. tell me about. Mm -hmm. One stood out to me as, Somewhat of a fraud. Oh. I thought Jordan was a I, fraud. That's, that's, I'm in the same boat. I <laughs> but right? I, I think maybe, she was giving it away a little bit. She though. was. But also then I was like thinking, I was like, maybe that's part of her like that's comedic essence of just kind of being like, whatever. There's one point where she said like, oh, I never wear wigs. And I was like, what? Yes. But you're wearing one right now. What did you think of Miss Shumai? Well, I'm a little that biased. That was the one that, yeah, she did I'm you over. Because I'm doing, I am the product of Miss Shumai. I mean, look, she had a very personal story. Well, let's change yeah, that Yeah, let's right do now. that. This so far, this is kind of what we think. But if we're wrong, don't kill us, please. <laughs> this is my voice, like, for this outfit. Like, I wanna lock in the boats. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna lock in the boats. Mm. Is that good? Should we? No. <laughs> Yay! Hello! Welcome back! Welcome back! Welcome! Great. Zoe Day Propel. <laughs> Zoe <laughs> Day Propel. <laughs> we love all of you. Please don't be mad if we guess you. Yeah. Right. We will. Oh, okay. <laughs> you were all literally so beautiful in the way that you did your makeup and, and the confidence was just oozing from everybody. So we were genuinely like having the hardest time picking who's who. <clears throat> we thought the expert was Evian. It was a lot of confidence. I felt like you had a really good persona. It was just effortless for you to be Evian. No! I should have known you can't really walk in those heels. <laughs> I believe we concluded the amateur is Miss Shumai. That is what we decided. <laughs> Only. <laughs> yes, that is what we decided. Only time will tell. <laughs> what is this response? We felt that Jordan was a fraud. And I'm sorry. Oh, uh, okay, Good okay, okay. Job. <laughs> nice. Okay, okay. We were kind of on the right track. All drag is valid, all bodies are valid. Like, you don't have to pad and have, like, boobs in order to be a drag queen. As a non-binary person myself, it's helped me really embrace and be able to celebrate and feel so much more confident in my natural femininity. Quote, unquote, amateur, please raise their hand. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Hi, sorry. <laughs> When I first joined LA's drag scene, I started to feel like I wasn't really good enough to be around all the other girls and to perform and to earn the respect. But the reality is I just found what I was good at and I really love comedy and humor and I just started doing that in drag. And once I took the veil off and kind of became myself and started doing my own thing, I noticed that people cared and people paid attention and that kind of got me to the next level. <laughs> that means Evian. Wow. wow. Okay. You're, had you done drag before then? So I'm actually a professional makeup artist, but it wasn't my goal to fool them. It was more just like, I need to stand still because I know I cannot walk in these heels, but I look so good. So <laughs> I was like, if I just stand still, nobody's gonna clock this. Nobody's gonna know. Thank you so much for watching. We would love to hear your comments. Who looked the most glamorous? Probably me. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> don't forget to like this up and also subscribe if you enjoyed. We'll catch you on the next one. And don't be mad at us.